Hey guys, Freak of Four here. Wanted to share with you my two new uh, bookcases that I recently got in the mail uh, a couple days ago. Constructed the bad boys and uh, added things to them. So. Hope you enjoy it. Let's take a look, shall we? So, the first shelf is I got my TV shows out there. We got MacGyver, uh, Trancers. Which I believe is a, a science fiction TV show. Uh, I need to watch the rest of those. I, I think I've only seen the first two. Um, can't go wrong with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Uh, then you have Charmed. Right next to that you have Mind Freak which is uh, Chris Angel's uh, Illusions show. Then I've got all of my DVDs here. A couple Blu-rays in there. Go slow here so I don't cause anyone motion sickness. There we have uh, Tales from the Crypt, <clears throat> all those seven seasons. I need to uh, catch up on that also because I believe I'm on the third season. Although, oh, fuck. With my memory, I may have to start the whole goddamn series over, which is, you know, not a big deal. Then we have uh, Kingdom Hospital next to it, which I have yet to see. Doing my best to hold the hold the uh, camera as still as I can. That's uh, Black Christmas in the corner there. Like I said, I got uh, Dead and Rotting is in the corner. That's or uh, <laughs> fuck that up. Dead Time Stories, uh, George Romero is in, the, is in the corner there. These are all my Halloween movies that I watch every year. Damn, that's tough to hold the camera. Still! Shit. Sorry about that. Something got rad. I'm still pissed that I missed out on the four on the rad 4K. I may even just have to say fuck it and spend the 160 and and get it. And I know that sounds crazy, guys, but you have to understand that 
uh, the company, I believe it was Vinegar Syndrome, mentioned that they will never release that movie ever again on 4K. And I never knew that. I had heard a few people mention it, and then when I finally checked it out, the shit was sold out. So, I'm just SOL. I need to get the, uh, the entire He-Man series. Definitely. Can't go wrong with uh, DuckTales and The Treasure of the Lost Lamp. That is a fantastic movie. Um, that's Swordfish on Blu-ray. If you're into uh, if you're into hacking and uh, and uh, mixed with you know, non-stop action, so to say, I would say you definitely want to check it out. It's also got John Travolta in it and Halle Berry. Uh, got The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Red Sonia there. Um, the only reason I have the, uh, the Crow City of Angels, the Crow Salvation, and the Crow Wicked Prayer is because... Uh, to my knowledge, The Crow Salvation was never released on Blu-ray, and I believe The Crow City of Angels was released on Blu-ray, but it's done by a shitty company called the Echo Bridge, and I can't stand them, uh, because the sound quality is usually ass, and... They, uh, they never have subtitles. And yes, I do own a few Echo Bridge movies, but I'm not proud to say that. But it's because those were the only way I could actually get the Blu-rays, uh, from what I remember. So in the corner we have Magic Sword, we have Cocktail, Surf's Up, these are a lot of movies I haven't even watched, like Nora's, uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, um, Step Up, um, I saw the first Pitch Perfect. I believe I've seen the second one. I don't think I've seen the third one. Um, and let's see. Money Pit. I need to get that on Blu-ray. Um, Clerks 2. I need to get that on Blu-ray. Um, And then we have down here, what's that in the corner? Oh, Blast from the Past. Let me see if I can put the camera like this. Maybe I can, maybe I can do it better. So you can kind of. Here. I also need um, seasons five, six, and seven of Once Upon a Time. And if you guys are into uh, fairy tales that have been twisted. Uh, to, I would say, in some ways, the extreme. I think you would really, really like Once Upon a Time. 
I cannot get enough of that show. I just, I absolutely fucking love it. Um, I am not sure if there is another season of In Living Color. There might be more seasons, but I currently only own the first two. And then I have all of my stand-up comedy right there. Big fan of Ron White and the blue collar comedy. Uh, Kevin Smith. Uh, Gabriel Iglesias. Eddie Murphy. Um, this one I have not seen. This is uh, when I got my Garbage Pail Kids uh, t shirt. This, uh, they have this, and I've never seen this. I never even knew that there was a Garbage Pail Kids cartoon. But, apparently, uh, that cartoon was never released until, uh, I don't remember how far back it was since I got the t-shirt, but... It literally says on the back of that 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 was never released up until now. So, thought that was pretty dope. Okay, so, next bookshelf we have. Got more TV shows up here. We got Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Can't go wrong with the ghost diggies. I call them ghost diggies. But it's, it's Ghost Hunters. And it pisses me off that I don't know what happened. Maybe someone can tell me. But it only goes up to season 9. And then they just stop releasing them on, on DVD or, or what. But yeah. So I was pretty pissed about that. And it's also damn near... wouldn't say impossible, but it's, it's really damn difficult to even find any of the Ghost Hunters past Season 9. Got the uh, Pawn Stars. We've got Season 1, Season 2, and then... Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5. That's another show that they stopped releasing on DVD. Pissed me off. Um, so these are my Garbage Pail Kid uh, Funkos. We have... Uh, oh, jeez. Let me see if I can... Remember them. Um, we have we have Dead Ted, Alligator, uh, Leaky Lindsay, Leaky Lindsay, uh, TV Stevie, Adam Bomb, Bony Tony, uh, Mad Mike. Let's see if I can move him over. There, Mad Mike. Uh, Ghastly Ashley. Nasty Nick. Clark Kent. Uh, Hottie Scotty, I believe, or Scotty Hottie. Uh, New Wave Dave. And then we have... The Funko Pops that Edwin Quesadilla Padilla gave me. So we have Freddy fucking Krueger right there. Looking badass. And then we have Michelangelo. Leonardo. Pinhead, the motherfucking man himself right there. 
looking, looking all evil and waiting to tear your soul apart. And you got Chucky right there. You got Raphael and Donatello. Then you got the another badass Jason fucking Voorhees. And then you have Splinter. And then you have the Crow. And oh boy, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna. Oh wait. Okay, I got the cheat sheet right here. So when I bought the second uh, series of Garbage Pail Kids Funko Pops, guys, I actually bought the entire display box. If you can see that. So that's the whole box. Um, let's see. Who do we have here? Um, we have Corroded Carl there. We have Cyclops there. We have Split Kit. We have Richie Wretch. Uh, we have Buggy Betty, and these are what the, the actual boxes look like here. This is uh, Beastie Boyd. Then on the bottom, we have... Uh, what is this guy? We have Brainy Brian. This is Fryan Ryan. This is Brainy Janie. Uh, let's see. This is Mean Jean. The next one is Kim Kong. And the last one is Eerie Eric. And then, like I said, the boxes look like this. So. And that's it for the the two shelves, guys. Um I possibly will get, I possibly will get uh, two more bookcases because I still have to, uh, I still have to put my, uh, my 300 and 300 plus uh, music CDs away. Damn it. And I probably just blocked that whole shot. God damn it. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let me repeat what I said. So, yeah, I will probably get two more uh, bookcases because I still have 300, 320 uh, music CDs to put away. Because I don't, I don't like to just, you know, stack them against the wall. I mean, I could, but 
I don't want to do that. I'd rather, you know, get a get one of those CD towers or or some shit like that, or just probably just get one more bookcase to uh, to show off my CD collection. All right. Thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it. Let's me know you're interested in what I'm doing. And that means a lot to me. And I will be back with some gameplay videos. I know I haven't done one in a while. And I really need to get back to them because I have a shit ton games to play. <laughs> Later.